Well, hey everybody, how's everybody doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, we are talking about gift ideas for a new or even a experienced DJI Spark fan. So we are talking several different ideas for those of you that may already have a Spark or you're looking for gift ideas for uh, a family member or a friend that already has a Spark or maybe somebody that is just looking to get into a Spark. So we're talking gift ideas for DJI Spark pilots. <laughs> Now we've got some expensive ideas and we've got some cheaper ideas for those of you guys on a budget or for that friend who's a, a spark pilot, but you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on that. For the first one, we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about the DJI Spark itself. So if you haven't already bought a DJI Spark, now is a great time to get into one. They're now about $100 cheaper than they were up until just in the last few weeks. So right now they're about $399 for the Spark itself. I highly recommend that you get the Fly More package, which is about $150 more, I believe. I think uh, it's maybe $549, $599, something like that right now on Amazon and or at DJI's website. So now is a great time. If you haven't already pulled the trigger on getting a DJI Spark, now is a great time to do it. Whether that's for yourself or you're looking to, to buy one for another new pilot, for a gift idea. All right, so now if you're buying for an existing Spark user, one of the best gifts you can give them if they don't already have it is ND filters. So the whole idea behind having a DJI Spark is it's really a camera in the air, right? And for photos, ND filters probably aren't necessary, but for those pilots that are looking to use the Spark as a video device, video capture device, ND filters are fantastic. So uh, you want to go up here. Uh, I have a link to an existing uh, video that I've done on ND filters that explains all about why you want them. And you really do want to have them if you want to have the get the best video out of your DJI Spark and the limitations that it has. So ND filters are fantastic. I'll leave you some links down below for uh, Polar Pro and Freewell. Those are the two that I recommend. Uh, Polar Pro, I think, are the, the really the top of the line option for the uh, DJI Spark. That's really what I would recommend. Freewell is also a really good brand. They both have several different options. You can buy uh, like three different uh, uh, versions or you can buy six different versions. They have polarizers. So there's all different kinds that you can get. Uh, you know, if you're looking for a full set, you probably want to get like the Polar Pro uh, Cine Cinevision series, something like that, that has uh, all six uh, different filters. It's going to be able to give, give you coverage on a lot of different lighting conditions. They also have polarizers with them. So it's going to give you some different options that's really going to, to work out well for you. Uh, I'll leave you links below for, for those. Uh, next, we're going to talk about batteries. So the DJI Spark, in real life, you can expect somewhere around maybe 12 minutes of battery life. Now, DJI says approximately 16 minutes, but that's perfect conditions, and you're not going to be flying in perfect conditions, or your pilot that you're buying for is not going to be flying in perfect conditions. So they can expect somewhere around 12 minutes of flight time. So every DJI Spark pilot that I know wants more batteries. So batteries are great. They're not real cheap. They're about $49 each. Uh, you can get them many different places. I would recommend either Amazon or DJI store itself. Uh, that way you can be sure that you're getting uh, uh, good quality batteries that are, are true DJI batteries. Um, now, the other thing is you're going to want to charge them. So that's one of the reasons why the, the DJI Spark Flymore package is really good, uh, is that it comes with a three battery charger. So that is something you, you might want to think about. And it also comes with a couple of extra batteries. 
So when you buy the DJI Spark, getting the Fly More package is, is really a good idea. It comes with a remote control, uh, a couple extra batteries, as well as the three battery chargers. So that is something that you may want to look into. But DJI also has a deal going right now where they, their recently released portable charger that charges up to three batteries at a time uh, is really kind of a battery bank and allows you to charge on the go. Uh, it's also kind of a protector for your DJI Spark. They have, uh, normally it's $89, but they have a, a package deal where you can buy the portable charger along with two batteries, which those batteries under normal circumstances are $49 each. You can get two batteries plus the charger for $139. So essentially, you're getting the, the uh, $89 char charger for about $39, and then you got the two uh, $49 batteries. Yeah, I'm talking rough numbers, right? So uh, that's uh, if you're thinking about that portable charger, that might be a good deal for you is you get a couple extra batteries along with the portable charger. The next item on the list for your Spark Pilot is a case to carry all the Spark and all of its gear with it. Now I have another video here where you can look at uh, three different uh, uh, cases that are good for different types of users. So you might wanna check that out and get some ideas. Uh, there is also one, one of the uh, best cases out there, I think that's, that's not a super hard, it's kind of the semi-hard, semi-rigid case, is the Doobie case, D-O-U-B-I. I'll leave a link in the description below for it. Uh, I think what it's good about it is it has room for four batteries. It also is a little bit thicker, a little bit deeper, so that the spark fits down in the hard uh, foam all the way and it's not sticking up part, partly above. Some of, the, some of the, those semi-rigid cases only have a thin foam and they only cover about half of the spark and half the spark sticking up. So you have to have propeller protectors. The Doobie case I think is one of the most popular ones out there. It has really good organization for the slots that are built in. I'll leave you a link for that down below. You can get that uh, a couple of different sites, Amazon being one of them. Uh, and then there is a hard case. I'll leave you a link for that and you can check it out right here, which is also another really good case. It gives you space for pretty much everything you need to carry with your Spark. And uh, it is going to be waterproof. It's gonna be super rugged, it's hard. You know, you can throw it around and your Spark is gonna be super protected. Uh, and you can, you can use it in any circumstance and it's, it's going to be good to go. So that's another one. That one's a little bit more expensive, but you can check out the link below for the prices on those cases. They're kind of changing all the time. So uh, check out the, the links below for uh, uh, links to the prices. Next, we're going to talk about just some, some cheaper options for gifts. So if you're not looking to spend a lot of money on a friend or family member, uh, but you know that they have a DJ Spark or are getting one, and you just want to get uh, something that's going to be useful for them, useful for them, but you don't want to spend a lot of money. There's some additional accessories that I think are, are going to be great. So first off, every Spark Pilot is going to need more propellers at some point, uh, whether they crash it or at some point they're going to hit the the lifetime uh, uh, utilization period for those. You know, you don't want to overuse them. So they're going to want to replace those propellers after a certain period of time. So propellers are always a good one. Uh, then you have a gimbal cover, okay, a gimbal protector. This is something that I think every single DJI Spark owner should have. They should every single one have this gimbal protector. And honestly, this is something that DJI really missed the ball on. They really should have just included a, a, a gimbal protector uh, from the get-go. But, uh, you know, there's a ton of options out there. So I'll leave you a link below on some examples of where you can get some of those. Another one, if you have one of those shallower uh, spark cases that isn't super deep, then I would recommend the propeller guards that uh, allow you to kind of snap your propellers in place and they hold them over the arms. And it just helps protect them while, while you're, you're carrying it around and, and in the case and so on. You know, you don't want to get those uh, propellers bent or anything like that or get them broken. Now, the uh, other, other item is, is, again, if you have a shallower uh, spark case, uh, then you probably also want, and, and you have a, 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 your pilot has a, 
a remote control, a remote control stick cover is uh, really good. And I'll, you can see it right here. And I'll, again, I'll leave you a link below to where you, you can get some examples of those. And that just helps protect the sticks on your remote control from uh, getting damaged and, and getting pushed around. Now, uh, one last thing uh, before we go to a bonus item is a drone landing pad. So a lot of, a lot of Spark pilots like to go out to parks or so on, and uh, the Spark is not very high off the ground. It's just got those little bumpers there, and it's super close to the ground. Um, so, you know, you really don't want to be taking off in dirt and having all that dirt flying up into the into the camera and the gimbal and getting sucked in with those fans and that stuff or or even if you're on grass uh, you know you don't want to have the blades hitting the grass uh, and you know that kind of stuff when you're taking off and landing so a nice pad uh, a landing and taking off pad is uh, something that would be very useful and most of those are under ten dollars and again I'll leave you some links down below for where you can find some examples of those now the last one I'm going to throw in is actually another drone and no I'm not talking about a, a DJI Mavic Pro although I personally would love a DJI Mavic Pro so any of you guys want to give some gifts feel free to send it my way but what I'm talking about actually is a training drone so a lot of you guys have seen people have flyaways have compass errors have GPS errors and so on and the the spark goes into addy mode and that is a, a mode where the the spark really is at your full control. Under normal circumstances, when compass and, and GPS are working just normally, then the, the, the spark really kind of flies itself. But what happens is if, there, if you get a compass error or a GPS error, or some other sort of soft, software error, uh, it can go into addy mode. And that is really kind of a, a uh, you know, it's, not, it's, a, it's a dumb mode, really. The, 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 the spark says, hey, you are in control, tell me what to do, otherwise I'm just gonna float wherever the wind pushes me. So uh, what you wanna do is, you wanna have a cheapo drone that you can, you can learn how to fly in that mode, okay? So I've got this uh, SEMA X5C-1 here. I'll leave you a link below where you can, where you can get it. And it's a, like a, a, a gear best, it's like a $33 uh, a drone, so it's super cheap in comparison to, to four or five hundred dollar Spark, you know. Plus, you get all those accessories. You don't want to lose that, right? So why not learn on a super cheap drone that doesn't have GPS, doesn't have compass? It's fully up to you to control it where it goes. It's going to be susceptible to the wind, right, and so on. It's really just a, a, a dumb. And I'm not saying that in a bad way, it's, it's what it's meant to be, right? It's a super simple quadcopter that you have to learn how to fly. And if you don't fly it, then it's going to crash, okay? And, and when you do crash it, when, not if, when you crash this, this uh, SEMA X5C-1, uh, parts are super cheap, right? Uh, you can, it's, it's made to be crashed. It's made to be, have parts replaced on it, which is not what the Spark is, right? Spark anything happens with the DJI wants you to send it back for, for a repair to them. The CMAX 5C-1 is super cheap and you can order just simple parts at pretty much any uh, you know hobby shop or so on or off, off a lot of the uh, internet websites uh, such as Gearbest that cater to hobbyists. And so um, so that's what the SEMA X5C-1 I think is going to be really useful for you guys is as a trainer. And it's also just a fun little quadcopter. It's, it's not super huge. It's not super small. You know, a lot of those quadcopters, they have little tiny ones that are about this big, you know. Um, but you can't see it when it goes very far away. If, you, if it gets out of your control, you, you know, it's going to be super susceptible to the wind. The C-Max 5C-1 is a little bit bigger than the Spark. So it's big enough that you'll be able to see it but it's not, uh, not too big that it's a pain in the butt to carry around or so on. It's not gonna be super fast. You know, there's a million other uh, drones out there that are super fast, but you don't want a super fast one for your training, right? You want some, something that's, that's reasonably fast, but not super fast that you can learn on. You can let your kids play with, and if they crash it, you know what, it's not a big deal, right? So that's really what, uh, what this is for. So uh, I'm going to call it the Spark Trainer, okay? So the SEMA X5C-1 is a great training drone for any DJI fan 
um, any DJI uh, Spark and uh, Mavic Pro, and even for Phantom pilots. I know on the Mavic Pro and the, the Phantom, you can change to Addy mode and so that you can actually uh, practice flying in Addy mode. But do you really want to be doing that with your thousand plus dollar uh, drone? I personally wouldn't. I would rather learn to fly, get the basics down at least, on a simple 30 some odd dollar drone. Hope this gift list was useful for you guys. Again, you'll be able to find links down below. Uh, these are my affiliate links. That's a way to be able to help support this channel. If you uh, buy anything, I would love for you to, to uh, support the channel and uh, click through these links and uh, it really helps us to be able to bring additional content and bring content at a higher quality. All right, well, if you guys uh, enjoyed this, uh, leave me, uh, uh, like the comment below, and uh, if you have other gift ideas, uh, let me know in the comments below as well. Uh, anyways, hope to see you subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I hope to see you again on a future video. Hope you have a great one. Take care.